I, I see some questions, by the way, here in the chat. Um, maybe I can try to ask some of them while we are analyzing the game. Of all the roles of either managing director, which is the most satisfying role and the hardest? Yeah. The hardest is uh, the administrative work <laughs> because it's a, a lot of work, uh, you know, uh, in a back office. <laughs> okay. But uh, the most satisfying part, which is actually my passion as well, it is carrying out the social initiatives because that's my belief. Uh, we can invest and that's also uh, done by the new uh, team. And uh, I appreciate that a lot in the professional chess, in raising the standards uh, uh, for the high uh, or level uh, tournaments. And we are happy to have also one uh, to be held in Riga, Grand Swiss uh, is to that's, be held That's a separate Riga. topic. That's a separate we are going to talk we about it. We'll touch upon it later, yes. But uh, my belief is that we have to reach out to the non-chess player societies. Uh, we have to widen the customer base, I say right. so. And this is so, uh, something that can be done uh, with uh, the, how to say, cross-sectoral approach. Because you know, as, the same as innovation normally emerges on the verge of two disciplines, I believe that the, the, the essence of getting wider audience, audiences love chess, it is using it for the benefits of our other areas. So few examples, uh, what we have uh, initiated and already promoted at a uh, higher level uh, this year, uh, one is the initiative for chess in prisons. Uh, we started with a conference and uh, a demonstration match with, uh, among four teams, US, Russia, quite an interesting counterpart, yes, Spain and uh, Armenia. They were playing, the inmates were playing online match uh, in parallel of, of, of conference that was organized for the authorities to show them how it can practically be organized to share the experiences of how chess has been used for the reintegration of the inmates, giving them the sense of the life, giving and the scope in their life and and also you know uh, giving them the opportunity to spend the quality time on chess developing their cognitive skills and all the other um, elements that we know chess is strong in, in, right. in teaching at. So, and in October 13th, which is actually the International Education Day in uh, prisons, uh, we are, are going to organize the first uh, intercontinental uh, championship for the prisoners. So uh, whomever know of the uh, initiatives somewhere in the, in the countries going on um, that uh, should be approached and invited, we would be happy to get on, on board. Another one that I love so much, it is the Chess for Refugees, together with the UNHCR and uh, Chess uh, Kenya. We have initiated the uh, tr chess training program in Kakuma camp in Kenya, uh, 1600. Um, youth and children will be trained within uh, the following uh, one and a half years and a special program will be um, dedicated to the girls because I believe that chess does not only give you the skills of the game, which is also very important for, the, for, for those people, this sense of belonging to chess society, which is huge. I mean, with the, all the online um, uh, opportunities, uh, you can, you know, create this right. very essential feeling of being a member of the family, especially for the people who have been displaced and have lost their homes. I mean, that's very important, I guess. But it also can give their the life uh, skills essential for them not to become a chess piece in somebody's hands but really the masters of the game in their life yeah so so this is the the idea so uh, that's another uh, another another direction but but i could speak a lot about you know chess in uh, chess for the people with uh, you know, for the kids for uh, with the autistic spectrum disorder a special program is being uh, developed also the chess in education free yeah there's a question there's a question yeah. about that uh, chess in schools as well yeah what is the feeder's role uh, or the policy i think i read it Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the chess in education, yes, we. Uh, I'm uh, happy actually that I have managed to uh, get on board uh, some of the strongest uh, experts in the field: uh, Jerry Nash, Jasper, um, Paul, uh, Leon Chiogathia, um, and other 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 colleagues who have been working now on the strategy for FIDE for the chess in education, and they are pan finalizing the strategy. I will be. Glad actually to uh, publish it afterwards. Before that, we have carried out the global survey, trying to find out what the state of the play is. And there are 
have uh, quite interesting data can come out. Uh, it seems that uh, more than 25 million uh, kids are regularly going in for chess and education activities. Oh, wow. Uh, kind of ma many, yes, but uh, I, in my opinion, it was... Uh, it's not so much, right? Yeah, no, because <laughs> 15 million of, uh, of them uh, uh, are in India. Five in China and the rest of the world uh, contributes to the remaining few million. So the rest million of the in India. Yes, amazing, amazing stories. So uh, and then uh, when we dig deeper, we we analyzed um, and try try to understand what the the models are. You know, uh, uh, is is chess obligatory? Is it optional? How the the work is organized? Uh, uh, is there any certification system for the teachers? Yes, and right. uh, we see that only half in half of the countries they have at least some certification or qualification system for the chess teachers or chess trainers providing um, uh, chess teaching in, in, in schools in environments so this data i wouldn't go uh, in in details now the survey is available also on PDA website but uh, this has given us uh, a pretty nice insight to build on uh, and trying to designate what the role of FIDA should be yes and the federations mainly see as uh, uh, as uh, uh, the, the role of FIDA as the contributors uh, in marketing of the whole concept right. in uh, ensuring this link between the governments and chess society in advocating why chess is needed chess in schools is, right. is needed and then of course the practical support to the teachers training and to the online resources methodologies uh, that could be used in those countries and uh, for those organizations that go want to go in for chess and here it's very important i guess for us to understand that the FIDA's role should not be to compete with those strong players already successfully working on the market, rather to coordinate them and, and, uh, and, and help and um, make use of uh, the existing players already. So this is something that um, is also, I think, very important to uh, understand.